about the size of Maryland. Haiti lies on the west end of a Caribbean island, a two-hour flight from the Florida coast. On the east side of the island is the Dominican Republic, a worldwide vacation destination. But Haiti's mountains and white sand beaches are home to the poorest citizens in the western hemisphere. This former French colony and hub of the slave trade, Haiti is the only country on earth that gained independence by a slave rebellion. That struggle was symbolized in Port-au-Prince by a triumphant bronze statue called the Unknown Escaped Slave. Haiti's 9 million people speak two languages, French and Creole. 95% are of African descent. Centuries of civil war, violence, famine, political corruption, and countless natural disasters have wreaked havoc on Haiti. But in recent years, this tiny nation was on a path to progress. Everybody who seriously followed Haiti over a long period of time believed that Haiti was, had the best chance it has had in our lifetimes to break the chains of its past, to build a truly modern state. Amazingly, today, amidst the devastation and rubble, the statue that signifies Haiti's spirit is still standing. chilling screams. It's the first sound my wife, Claudette, and I hear. There's so much crying in port right now. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. This is the worst I ever seen in my life. My entire hometown has become a morgue. The body's still bleeding. This is what we're dealing with right here. This is the reality of the country right here. My cousin Jerry was with us. Everywhere we walk, bodies are abandoned in the streets. Oh my God. Bodies. That's a dead body right there. That's a kid. That is a kid. We gotta take this kid in. We're dealing with a little kid here. We don't even know if they eight or nine years old. You know what I mean? We spent hours in the heat piling up the dead. Put your mask on, Clef. The smell is overwhelming. I can't even stay there. Oh God, please. <sighs> Now right now we're about to bring the body to the cemetery. The local cemeteries are already overflowing. So these survivors are digging shallow graves for the dead. Most of these people laid to rest here will never be identified. My team and I pulled this 14-year-old girl out of the rubble. She was trapped in the part of her house. Put your back up, move the back. This little girl, she lost her little sister who's 12 years old. And her grandmother is also dead. So we gotta take her to the hospital. This is the hospital? The hospital. There's so many dead bodies in every two corners. You'll at least find 12 to 13 people. And then under the rubble, we don't even want to talk about it. Today in the cafeteria, you may choose to eat the alternative menu, which is the main course for many Haitians affected. Part of the proceeds from each alternative meal will go to the Haitian Relief Effort. You may also choose to sacrifice your usual beverage and donate a dollar towards the effort. Teachers will be serving water in return. Please make a small sacrifice to help the hundreds of thousands in need. Live simply so that others can simply live.